Yes, and welcome back with is Y254, the touchline. Bernardo Kumu here, and our next set of guests is uh, BMX riders, a group of BMX riders who are known as Ninjas Clan. We're here to talk about them. Remember that this is a, an Olympic sport. Kenya has never been to the Olympics, especially in this particular discipline. But of course, the group here might be the pioneer group that might be taking Kenya to their first ever Olympic in this particular sport. Welcome on set. I have Joel Onyango Thank on my you. immediate uh, right, and of course, Samuel Bogua, right, on my father left, right? And, Kennedy. Uh, Kennedy, uh, Kennedy Kamau, yes, that's on uh, the left, further left, then of course Samuel Mbogua and the man in the Marvin, ah, easily, I can identify that, <laughs> and that's uh, Benjamin <laughs> Rachar and of course Joel Asanteni Sana, Ninja Thank Clan, you. right? Thank you. So Thank when you. did you form this particular uh, club and what informed your decision to pick on BMX? I mean, we've all been riders <laughs> from... Uh, from a very long time, we've yeah. all been riders, mm -hmm. ever since childhood. Mm -hmm. But uh, we came together around 2010, uh -huh. so we've been around for a decade or so. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, our interest of learning new tricks, uh -huh. riding bikes together, uh -huh. has kept us going throughout the years. Uh -huh. yeah. The adrenaline, uh -huh. you know, everything that, it comes together perfectly. Uh -huh. uh, adren and adrenaline, Rachar, is like some sort of highness, right? <laughs> yeah. Highness, yes. Yeah, some, some sort of highness. Yeah. Excitement, a uh -huh. mix of very, very, very different emotions. Uh -huh. um, sometimes you might feel like you can even listen to the air as it passes. Uh -huh. You just mute the whole world. You're listening to how your heart is beating uh -huh. when you're in the moment. So it's like a pause. Uh -huh. It's a mix of different emotions uh -huh. that you always end up chasing because... Yeah, it's, it's addictive. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, and when, when, when was the day that, um, uh, Samuel, you picked it up and you felt like this is it? Okay, I rode my bike from like I was a kid, uh -huh. but I started BMX like from 2020 uh -huh. during the COVID pandemic. And from there, I found like it's the adrenaline is different. So uh -huh. I felt like other sports like football, uh -huh basketball they were not doing it for me uh -huh. so like i picked up the bike and uh -huh. uh, i've never looked back uh -huh. yeah kennedy was yeah. Uh, uh, bmx the first love of you had you know if you were in some other sports before uh i've always preferred cycling to other sports uh -huh. to conventional sports uh -huh. like summer said uh, -huh. uh but around 2019 i figured i just buy a bmx you know just to cruise around uh -huh you know, just run errands, but uh -huh. that was the beginning of it all for me, because uh -huh. from then I learned uh, about the Ninjas Clan, that's when I joined the group, uh -huh. and then uh, the rest is history from uh -huh. there, uh -huh. yeah. So, Joel, what, how, you, you know, uh, it involves uh, stunts, yeah. you know, and your main goal is to get to the Olympics. Hopefully. How has the, has the journey begun? Uh, the journey is uh, somewhat challenging, uh -huh. but we're managing. Uh -huh. You know, as, uh, as of right now, mm -hmm. our main goal, our immediate goal is to create awareness, uh -huh. let the people know that uh, the sport is here, uh -huh. the sport is here to stay actually. Uh -huh. And uh, if we be the first pioneers uh -huh. to bring it uh, to the mainstream, uh -huh. well and good. We've uh -huh. taken measures, you know, uh -huh. we're currently underway and registering our sport. Uh -huh. And uh, hopefully we, we do more exhibitions. Uh -huh just to create a, a mass appeal and to popularize it amongst the youth because uh -huh. kids already know what it is, uh -huh. you know? Uh -huh. So it's just a matter of uh, you old folks <laughs> get, <laughs> catching on. You call me old? <laughs> 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 really so old. But you know, yeah. it's a different form of riding, normal from what you expect from uh, riders, what you see, uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. so, so, I mean, when, when you talk about getting in maybe younger people, mm -hmm. what, you, you have to be, do something that relates to them. Maybe they mm -hmm. just see this as a bike, but now what do you do to bring them along, Rachel? So we have, normally we have events, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and what brings us together, mm -hmm. music is a, is a universal language. Yes. So the music that we listen to, most of the time also, BMX is an extension of hip hop yes. as well. So yes. if you are a hip hop fan already, you will find uh, that this is easy for you. You can easily relate with us guys. Uh -huh. There's people who listen to rock music because, um, as you can see, Joel is very tall. I'm very tall, and our bikes, our frames, all of them are 
not so big. Is for crazy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm getting at. So <laughs> you can see it's sort of like a rebellious act for a tall person to be handling or mishandling sometimes, as people tell us, these small bikes. <laughs> and uh, that's all about it. As music brings us together, so we hold exhibitions. Um, we partner with several people like Skateboarding Society of Kenya. Sometimes we do exhibitions with them. We bring music that brings us together. And that's how we meet, get to meet other people as well. And Samuel, how, how important is it to understand the beginning of the origin of, of, of you know, of BMX freestyle riding with music, you know, and how important is that? How is it that, how does it, um, you know, like fuse with the culture? Okay, BMX with music is like, it just flows. Because uh -huh. when you're riding the bike, you're listening to your music, it's just a, uh, the feeling is different. Yeah, the bikes, yeah, yeah. The, it gets you there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If I can add to what oh, Sam is yes, saying, same, you know, yes. um, BMX right now currently, um, I feel like it's a mixture or a combination of sports and art. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. a wise man, uh -huh. we all know, we, maybe you don't know him, but a wise man said, uh -huh. he has his own, he coined his own phrase. Uh -huh. uh, it says, mix of sports and art, so he calls it SPART. Uh -huh. uh -huh. S-P-A-R-T, uh -huh. SPART, uh -huh. right? Wise man is uh, Anthony uh, from the SSK Skateboarding Society of Kenya. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. um, so it's a perfect blend uh -huh. where we try to fuse sports and urban culture together. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. to bring it to the limelight, uh, to make it to popularize it with the youth. Uh -huh. Yeah, and by f by extension, it just um, bring entertainment along exactly. to, to mix the two, which is so easy because now it's easy to put out the music layer just uh, with speakers blaring and you doing your thing then people come in and asking what's happening here mm -hmm. that's that that should be easy yeah right yeah, yeah it's just like when you when you listen to some sounds uh -huh. and you dance like uh -huh. how people dance to gangeton uh -huh. i'm a piano uh -huh. with your bike or it's the same thing or hip-hop uh -huh. yeah it's the same thing you just express yourself when you look at an obstacle for example in kenya uh -huh. we have so many potholes uh -huh. people look at them as a disgrace to the country but as we look at them as sports we call them this is a sport this is somewhere i can do something like uh -huh. i want to jump over it uh -huh. Uh -huh. i want to jump over it that's my expression uh -huh. that's my way of looking at it differently uh -huh. that's my way of looking at stairs as oh uh -huh. what if i could jump over all these stairs uh -huh. what can i do over all these things uh -huh. and that's just expressing yourself uh -huh with your bike. Uh -huh. So and it's all art. It's poetry, all art. poetry in motion. It's poetry in motion. Yeah. And of course, he, Arachan is mentioning maybe what entails BMX freestyle, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe you can add? Uh, this is it's more like a personal expression of your creativity uh -huh. as an individual. Because like as we are, mm -hmm. everyone has their, own sing has their own individual style of riding. Uh -huh. There's a specific way Joe will ride, there's a specific way Racha rides, there's, uh -huh. uh, there's a way that I ride. Uh -huh. So it's more like an expression of each and every person's uh, creativity. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Of course, so, so going, going over the, like what we are seeing right now, over the skate ramps, is, is that one of the many stunts? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. What is, does it involve? Yes. So that where we are, what you're seeing on your screens right now yes. is uh, where we usually practice. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Shangilia Skate Park, which yeah. is open to the public as well. Yeah, that's in Kangemi. Uh, that's in Kangemi. Yes. Yes. Uh, Loresho Kangemi. Yes. Around that but area. If you look at it on uh, Google Maps, yeah. you can search up Tum Shangilia Mtoto. Uh -huh. Yeah, because yeah. it's usually that's like a famous children's home. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's usually yeah. attached to uh, the children's home there. And they're the only ones who have it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, Joe, you, you. So currently, that's uh, the biggest is, uh, skate park in Eastern Central Africa. Uh -huh. We have it in Kenya, uh -huh. and we are we're, we're fortunate enough. Uh -huh. So we get to practice there, uh -huh. and we get to share our skill there. You know, uh -huh. once you go, you get there. Uh -huh. We can uh, train you. Uh -huh. uh, we get together, have uh -huh. meetups there, uh -huh. train ourselves, uh, expand on the culture, uh -huh. basically. Uh -huh. And it's an it's a good place to mentor other people uh -huh. upcoming. You see, uh -huh. yeah, like you've said, it's a children's home. Uh -huh. So that's one of the initiatives they've taken is to induct it in the in the school curriculum. Uh -huh. It, no lo it not, not only builds them um, physically, uh -huh. it also keeps them aware and uh, sharp yeah. when it comes to decision-making skills. Uh -huh. 
through the sporting activity uh -huh. that's uh -huh. involved. Uh -huh. So soon, uh -huh. you'll see ninjas in schools, uh -huh. you know. Uh -huh. We're we are trying to induct that into the school system as well. Uh -huh. Inject new life uh -huh. and a new perspective of uh -huh. seeing things. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, ninjas is uh, synonymous with... Uh, with the movies <laughs> from <laughs> Asia, right? Yeah, exactly. In, in, this, in, this, in this case, exactly. the bike, what do you do with the bikes? Mm -hmm. I mean, um, ninjas, the, co the name was coined from, you know, we, had yeah. different, we have different professions. Uh -huh. and the only time we could get to ride uh -huh. was at night. Uh -huh. So the ninjas clan, we, we usually ri rode at night. Uh -huh. And uh, you when know, everybody's you asleep. Not, uh, I mean, uh, when you're going home, oh, yeah. we're uh -huh. coming out. Okay. Uh -huh. right? <laughs> so, so people could uh, actually see us and be like, Nani wa mpita? Nini wa mfanyika? So that's how the name came up. Uh -huh. you know. uh -huh. And you all came from the same neighborhood? Yeah, well, uh -huh. we have representation all over. Maybe uh -huh. Rachel can speak upon that. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah just, just as you said, uh, yes. we have guys from. That's the South crew. And also how they express themselves here, <laughs> very different. Uh -huh. uh, we have guys from Don Home. Uh -huh. We have guys from Pangani, uh -huh. um, yeah. KU, Ruiru. Some guys even from Mombasa, uh, Big Up. Kisomo. 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 Uh -huh. Eldoret and Nakuru. Uh -huh. So every town, if we consider biking as a brotherhood. Every, every time we ride our bikes and you see another person with a bike, there's always that respect uh -huh. that comes naturally. Uh -huh. Even if you don't say hi to them, uh -huh. you just respect them uh -huh. by virtue of them being on top of a bike. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So the brotherhood is very big, uh -huh. and that's why we are able to meet with a person for the first time, maybe in Akuru. Uh -huh. um, this year we had guys come from Uganda, mm -hmm. all the way from Uganda. Uh -huh. We are planning to go to Tanzania too, uh -huh. just to meet with other guys who Ride bikes, uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. And of course, uh, maybe someone who can answer this and anyone else can take it too, uh, add one or two of his view. Uh, with the sport being an Olympic, being in the Olympics, what kind of opportunity does it present to, to the Kenyan youth? Okay, as of now, I think the, there is one sport for an African rider in the Olympics for the freestyle BMX, uh -huh. but we want in the future to have like more sports because we, we, we want like to have more people ride at the Olympics uh -huh. from Africa. The skill level has to rise. Uh -huh. Yeah, the skill uh -huh. level has, uh -huh. has to rise, the well, exposure. And also get more people riding bikes. Uh -huh. How yeah. do you get more people riding bikes? Uh -huh. Because they're ninjas. Yeah. <laughs> they, they can't come through like ninjas again because you open the way, right? Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. So what we do is we normally encourage people like if if you're in a certain area and you know someone who rides, uh -huh. link up with them from uh -huh. time to time. You uh -huh. can do tricks, whatever. And then if there's like uh, the overall uh, meet and greets that we have, then you, you guys can all come, we can all come together. Uh -huh. So you meeting up with someone in a certain area, and then you meet up with other guys like that, that also spreads the word about the, about the sport as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you can add on all the opportunity that it, it really does present to the youth I mean, being an Olympic uh, sport. For one, mm -hmm. um, I don't think there's any other Olympic sport where, apart from BMX, b-boying and skateboarding. That and b-boying is going it's debut of, this year now, you know, this part Olympics. Of, it's yes. part of mm -hmm. really who we are. It, uh, I, like I was saying, I don't think there's any sport that you may be judged upon creativity and personal style, mm -hmm. apart from those that I've mentioned. Yes. So, for one, mm -hmm. you can already see the aspect of creativity mm -hmm. that is heavily involved uh -huh. or deep rooted with what we do. Uh -huh. um, apart from creativity, you know, there's, al there's also the job opportunities uh -huh. that will um, come, come up. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, besides that, I, th I feel like if we are able to nurture these talents, we are, we're, we're going to be able to avoid um, or rather be part of the community in that um, people uh, have something to do, uh -huh. have something to associate. They, it, it, it can give you a sense of identity, uh -huh. you know. Uh -huh. we, 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 we will be able to offer mentorship programships uh -huh. throughout the, through the opportunities that a bike has arose, uh -huh. that gives us uh -huh. Uh -huh. And from time to time here uh -huh. and there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a promising sport uh -huh. uh, in the Olympics and uh, we look forward to bringing it to the general uh, public. Uh -huh. And uh, we're ready to 
take it uh, to the next level. Yeah, exactly. and, and the search and the search for the identity mm -hmm. is all that maybe uh, propels people to even do what Rachel said, rebellious stuff like picking on a bike or hip hop. You know, beginning in the park yeah, and, yeah. and and all that. But now. How, how do you keep up with the progression of, of the sport, let's say, in terms of bike models and, and all the changes that come? Mm -hmm. You know, that's, mm -hmm. a, uh, that's a very good question because uh, with, the, with, the, with the internet, you know, we're able to see what's happening in the community uh, elsewhere in other parts of the world, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, like uh, Ken said, yes. coming together, you know, he, he may have a different bike model than I do and I'll ask him where he got it. Mm -hmm. You know, that networking between friends, that camaraderie, uh -huh. you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, it really helps uh -huh. in keeping up with the sport. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Racha? Yes. Uh, also, one, but just, to, just to take you guys back, yes. I feel uh, another opportunity that BMX being in the Olympics presents yes. is uh, just being heroes. Uh -huh. We need heroes. We need heroes that people can look up to uh -huh. just to go through life because life is very hard. Uh -huh. Um, we, we get so happy when we're riding bikes uh -huh. and you do something or you express yourself and then a kid is running after you. Uh -huh. We've had instances where a child was just running around the estate, uh -huh. they go grab their bikes, uh -huh. they follow us wherever we're going. Uh -huh. And that shows you that they just need, they need the inspiration to keep going. Yeah. So it presents also an opportunity to, if they, they'll, one day they'll hear, we are Olympians. Yeah. We call ourselves Olympians. Yeah. They have something that they can look yeah. forward to even in this life. Uh -huh. they, they'd say, I want to be like Joel. Yeah. I want to do something like that. Uh -huh. Just like um, Kevin Kiptum, whatever he has done, yes. or whatever he did, sorry, whatever he did, yeah, accomplished. Yeah, yeah, whatever he's accomplished is because he was looking up to some people who already set the pace before him. Yes. So I, p I believe that if we go to the Olympics, we'd have a good chance to also just be heroes to the next generation. And, as and, well. that's, and, and when you say it, uh, in my mind, I'm like, that's the dream of, of, of Ninja Clan. Right? Yeah. Ultimately. <laughs> Ultimately, yeah. yeah. So we know right? we'll open, yeah, we know we'll open the doors uh -huh. for a lot of guys, uh -huh. but we're also very, we're also very aware uh -huh. that whatever we do, uh -huh. we're just setting the pace uh -huh. for the next generation of the next kids who are going to even Set the bar higher. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and when, when, when um, uh, what you're doing is attracting like attention from young people, kids, let's say, you know, uh, that, that brings happiness. How does that make you feel, you know? Because you make that person like light up. It's usually a feeling of joy because uh -huh. you imagine this child just saw you just maybe like hop over a pothole or uh -huh. a bump or uh -huh. hop onto a pavement uh -huh. and you see the excitement on their faces and it kind of makes you feel like, uh -huh. wow, that's. It's actually very interesting to that kid. Yeah. So even you find, uh, just like Benja has said, you find like even the kids also want to try what we do on their bikes. Yeah. And, and as it's majorly about adrenaline and maybe when you're fit, right? Yeah. Do, you, do you feel like you're pressured with time to meet your goals and your dreams? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of pressure. Eh? Yeah. You know there's a lot of pressure. And currently we don't have opportunities where we can make money off of riding bikes. Uh -huh. So there's a lot of pressure to just also stick to this practice and this discipline uh -huh. of striving to be better than you were last year because we also try to build up our skills. Uh -huh. uh, but yo, the pockets are hurting. <laughs> the pockets are crying. <laughs> so, so that means that since mm -hmm. you're the pioneer people, it means that you have to get this on the map and also yeah. make your ways Even of make money. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, because yeah? there's a lot of opportunities. Um, uh -huh. Parts are very expensive. Uh -huh. To get parts, they are very expensive locally. We don't have any shop at the moment uh -huh. that sells this stuff uh -huh. locally or in Africa. We have to ship them. Uh -huh. We have to be taxed when they are here. Uh -huh. uh, and it's a small part. Uh -huh. yeah? uh -huh. But you know that part, uh -huh. you're not making money from riding bikes. Yes. Yeah, so we, it's a struggle to, so to have a balance. Uh, seen other people doing these things, uh -huh. and mm -hmm. like uh -huh. in your mind, you're like, "This, I'd, I'd like to do this thing." And you, you must like take on the struggles, even if the parts are expensive. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You just try your best uh -huh. to get them, uh -huh. whatever it takes, because uh -huh. mm -hmm. it's the sport that you want. Uh -huh. Yeah.
Ken has a phrase that usually yeah. tells us all the way you can what? start where you are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. anyone who wanna do yeah. club, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yes. So a uh, number of competitions, apart from going over the skate ramps, mm-hmm. where else? You know, where where else do you you know, um, our, our, our sport is not only constricted to the skate park. Yes, sure. We actually do like street jams. Yes. Where we organize events where we just ride, uh-huh. meet up as riders and ride to various destinations uh-huh. and locations and uh-huh. spots. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you can see us across the road riding. Uh-huh. You can say hi to us. <laughs> <laughs> We're friendly people. We're friendly <laughs> people. Yeah. 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 You know, tell us to do a trick. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Okay. Can come to your school uh-huh. because it's something we, we've been wanting to do to induct uh-huh. it in the school system, uh-huh. you know. Uh-huh. So, yeah. and I'm sure the CBC supports this exactly. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, so it's a it's, it's a learning curve. We're, not, we're on a learning curve, uh-huh. we're still experimenting here and there, uh-huh. but definitely we can't go wrong with BMX. Uh-huh. Yeah, so as far as going on to a uh, number of competitions that you have in locally, uh, who do you look out for in the, in the continent, like a uh, country that uh, maybe has an established? Uh, you know, BMX freestyle riders, and you also coping that calendar here. Um, I feel like South Africa has a good scene. Uh-huh. Yeah. South Africa has a good scene. Yeah. Nigeria as well. Yeah. Um, parts of Tanzania. Uh-huh. So, but Eastern Central Africa, we have Tanzania, Uganda, Kenya. Uh-huh. The scene is popping. Uh-huh. North Africa, uh-huh. we have a scene there. Uh-huh. So it's spread out differently across Africa, uh-huh. and it's interesting to see. It's gaining momentum at a quick pace. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. So the the, the uh, obstacles of, of apart from uh, expensive parts, spare parts of the bike. Challenges, you yes. mean? Yes. Um, yeah. The most ch- the the most common challenge to plague any athlete is would be injuries. Mm-hmm. You know. Yes. Uh, getting over that mentally first of all, uh-huh. then recovering physically uh-huh. yes. is always a challenge because you have to tackle I- the, the the obstacle won't change. Yes. You know, uh-huh. you'll go there, maybe you're staring down a 10-foot rail, uh-huh. a stair rail. Uh-huh. The stair rail will still be the same, but mentally, uh-huh. you have to overcome that fear. Yeah. You know, yeah. you have to get down the stair, you have to jump down it. You have maybe to send it. Like you have to send it. Just like a, a scene in a movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 Actually, to, yeah. to most guys uh, out here, like, you, they'll see us do something like that, and they're like, Wow, I actually saw that, that saw that on TV yeah. somewhere. Uh-huh. So it, it, it's, it's something that, you know, to them they uh-huh. can't fathom that it's something uh-huh. that can actually be physically uh-huh. done. Yeah. So when they see it, it's like wow, uh-huh. it's very amazing to them. So your mental strength is your safety rule number one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But well, how but else do you make sure that? But we also say we also safe. Yeah. <coughs> sorry to cut you short. But yeah. we also safe riders. Yes. Mm-hmm. We, when we you say safe riders, what do you mean? You're pulling stunts all over. It's extreme sport. We wear <laughs> safety gear. <laughs> yeah. You know? uh, nice. We wear helmets, knee pads, ankle pads, anything, sh- anything to keep us mm-hmm. uh, from not getting injured easily. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know. Because you know the sport demands that you uh-huh. look for an obstacle uh-huh. and you conquer it. Yes. That's our daily. Yeah. Daily life. Yes. When we look at an obstacle, uh-huh. you look at how you're going uh-huh. to conquer it. Uh-huh. We have sports that uh-huh. we have gone to uh-huh. for more than two years. Uh-huh. Just trying it. You go there and uh-huh. it beats uh-huh. you up. Uh-huh. It beats yeah. you up. Yeah, Samuel, how how long can you go? How how long is the your ramp your your, your, um, your skate park? Okay. Come out to Monapo, How 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 long is it? How many feet? Six feet. Six feet. Yeah. How how far can you go? I mean. You can clear it. <laughs> 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 okay, you can ju- you can jump like uh-huh. this height, the height of the the bar, uh-huh. from, from the floor. Uh-huh. It depends on the uh-huh. on how the transfer is taking you, yeah, uh-huh. and the speed, uh-huh. yeah, and the technique, the and the technique of, of the yeah, rider yeah. Must mm-hmm. Okay, the rider must have like skills like bike control, you uh-huh. know, mm-hmm. bike control cause. Uh-huh. When you're in the air, uh-huh. you're with the bike, so uh-huh. you have to hold it uh-huh. and go it's down with it, yeah, and it's land it, yeah, uh-huh. in short. Okay. Yeah. And also physical, uh, the physical aspect of it. Yeah, you know, staying fit. Yeah, it keeps us fit, as you can tell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are all sort of fit. Uh-huh. Yeah, so. Nice one. Uh, so any, 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 anyone who wants to join, how can he find you, the Ninja Club? Um, I think uh, the best way to join us would be on via social media yes. track us down on uh-huh. instagram uh-huh. and youtube uh-huh. ninjas underscore clan yes yeah 
um, you can shoot us a DM. Um, tell us where you're at. We'll definitely respond to you guys. Yes. Yeah. Next coming event? Um, we're, we're, we're actually organizing a, an exhibition event, uh -huh. um, it, which will be at Shangilia Skate Park. Uh -huh. uh, the dates are yet to be released. Yes, so yeah. once that's done, you know, follow us on social media and you'll keep up with uh, whatever's upcoming events. Uh -huh. yeah. mm. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much, mm. Rachar, and everybody, mm -hmm. Samuel, you're right, and yeah. Kennedy for yeah. gracing Touchline today, mm. and wish you all the best. Yeah. And maybe the craziest one can pull a stunt us. <laughs> <laughs> we it's end up this. Okay. Up. <laughs> yes, we wind up. Yeah, yes. he's closest to the mic. <laughs> 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 and take a mic. And he's and holding the microphone. Nice. Yeah. And so yeah. yes. Uh, um, Kennedy, he may kwangu kia come. Stop it. Maybe just like a, maybe, maybe just like a, like a light trick. Yeah. Safety first. Yeah, yeah. I do. <laughs> Start where you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and, and uh, the director is saying you do one of the stunts, okay. it's called Willy. What's that? Willy? Yes. Nice one, thank you so much, Joel, for gracing the interview. Ninja Clan, all the best. Mm -hmm. I want to see you at the Olympics, my dear. That's yeah. the dream, right? Yeah, yeah. And maybe also come and grace one of your events at Shangilia or at uh, the mall <laughs> in, in Westlands, right? Yes, yes. Big up. Thank you so much. We come back with um, the fan zone. I'll be joined by Terrace Wayaki in a short while. This is the touchline. Don't go too far. <laughs>